Hi, I'm Chris from CKS. I'd like to spend a few minutes with you today talking about how to choose the appropriate paint, both for your budget and for quality. There's a lot of confusion out there between student grade paints and artist grade paints. And what I have found uh, with the multitude of uh, questions that I have been asked from both students and professionals about the subject of paint is that it was worth the effort to produce this video. Um, anyways, let's start with talking about student grade paints. Uh, and for whom are these products appropriate? Okay, if you are a true beginner, or a leisure painter, or a student that is just taking uh, one painting class for your humanities requirements, then perhaps student grade paints are appropriate for your use. Oh, also for high school students. Anyways, um, when it comes to the subject of paint, what you pay for is pigment. That's the most expensive uh, ingredient or element in the, the uh, manufacturing of uh, artist paints. Um, and you pay for the quantity of pigment, the quality of pigment, and how finely ground it is. Let's start with talking about student grade paints. Uh, we have this little drawing here representing three different grades of paint. The first one we're going to start with is in fact student grade. With most brands of student grade paints, and it does not really matter whether they're acrylics or oils, you are going to get approximately 10% pigment in the tube. The other 90% can be low quality to average quality binder. There can be dryers, emulsifiers, thickeners, antifungal agents, antibacterial agents. In the case of, of acrylics, there can be ammonia in there. There can be a number of things. If you look at student grade paints as the equivalent of highly processed food, uh, sort of junk food. Now, there is a reason that student grade paints are uh, available to you. They service those people that don't require a high quality product. But again, if you have the correct information, then you can make an empowered choice for yourself. And maybe you didn't realize these differences. This pigment, and usually they are multiple pigments. In other words, they're trying to replicate a more expensive single pigment artist quality paint. So they use lower quality pigments. The pigments are very coarsely ground and because of that they cannot physically pack as many uh, particles into the same tube as they can with a finely ground artist quality pigment. As a result your colors will never be as bright and as intense as an artist grade or professional quality paint. Um, <clears throat> and therefore, you know, the price point reflects that. You know, I know that probably a number of you have gone to an art store before and stood in front of a display of a tube of, of tubes of paint and been thoroughly confused. All right? And you have asked yourself, why does this one display uh, allow me to purchase any of the colors at one price or perhaps two pricing levels. That in and of itself tells you those are student grade paints. When you stand in front of a display of artist grade paints, you will have anywhere from five to eight different pricing levels. Your less expensive colors are going to be your earth colors and your blacks and whites. Your more expensive colors are going to be your cadmiums and your cobalts, paints like that because those are extremely expensive pigments in and of themselves. Okay? Now, let's jump from student grade over to artist grade. I'll talk about this middle grade in a moment. With artist grade, you will see them on the tubes uh, labeled as either uh, first quality, professional quality or artist grade or a combination thereof. What you're getting here is almost the inverse relationship 
of a student grade paint. You're getting 90% high quality pigments and about 10% high quality binder. The manufacturing of paint, even when it is assisted with the use of machinery, is still an extraordinarily laborious process. They have to grind the pigment over and over and over and over again. Uh, those smaller particle sizes means they can cram more pigment into the same size tube and those colors pop like crazy. Artist grade paints are almost like concentrates. They are designed to be extended through the use of painting mediums and my studio experiences and th those of many artists and college teachers in the Los Angeles area whose opinions I respect greatly uh, we all sort of agree that with a high quality professional paint you can extend your paint anywhere uh, up to about 250 percent so that's where the uh, economy comes in um, also there is another consideration and that is the subject of light fastness which is a big fancy word that means nothing other than how resistant is that paint or that color to fading over time. With student grade paints, they will fade much more quickly and much more dramatically. With an artist grade paint, if you care for your paintings and don't expose them to extreme ultraviolet light, a good quality um, um, artist grade paint will last 150 years or more before it needs conservation. So, when I was a young person in my 20s, uh, there were not nearly as many choices. You have a tremendous universe of choices in terms of materials right now. In addition to that, the spread in price between student grade and artist grade was much more exaggerated many years ago. Now due to the amount of choices that you have with the different brands and the amount of competition and deep discounting, the spread in price between student and artist grade has been greatly narrowed. As a result, I personally feel that you should always buy the best materials you can. For one thing, if you get a nice painting and it's done with poor quality paint, there's not much you can do about it at that time. Virtually nothing. So, let's go back to this middle grade. This is known as a sketching grade. There are not many manufacturers who make this. What they have done is taken the same high quality pigment but just reduced the percentage of it to approximately 50 percent. The other 50 percent is good high quality binder. Okay? So uh, it, this is still a quality product. Uh, I'm a big advocate of artist grade. Uh, many of the teachers even at the junior college level in Southern California, insist that their students start out with artist quality paints. Um, and I will tell you this, that it is uh, a very sad thing to see somebody who is in their 50s or 60s that's still painting with student grade paint that's been painting for 30 or 40 years. You know, so don't be cheap with yourselves. The reality is, in fact, that the materials, although they may seem expensive, is the least expensive part of the painting process. The amount of time, energy, effort, and the expectations that you have for all of that investment is a far bigger cost down the road than, than the materials themselves. Okay, so until next time, please keep on painting and drawing the world a better place. See ya.